favorite one, Scott here. It's about 3 in the morning now. Again, I work third shift, so I'm a little bit used to this. Uh, it's not that I can't sleep. I'm being forced not to sleep. It's a great feeling. I just finished editing some videos for Sarah, and I don't have much to do besides play video games. So I want to do something, a little, I don't know, different. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do a, a drawing today. Or again, use pastels. So that chalk pastel. Going to the beach a few days ago. Kind of gave me an idea. I wanted to draw a conch shell. And I thought that'd be a lot of fun because it has like amazing shapes, details, and colors. So I might try some of my own colors. I might look at a picture and an image on the web. Something I've always been really bad with with art is picking the right colors. So I think we're gonna try and focus on that today. Is looking at an image, but picking colors that. I think we'd be good with it. This is just for fun, just a hobby. If you would like to draw with me, of course, go ahead. But let's do this. Again, like last time when I was drawing the Luna Moth, I had this very nice black textured paper. And I have my chalk pastels. Hopefully this time, I don't mess up the case. Alright. So just real quick, I'm trying to think of what colors I would like to use. Like on the orange and coral side, I think that would be really nice for this. Even some like peach in it, I think. See where that gets us. Um, always white, especially since I like to tr like do a quick sketch with the white first before anything else. I don't know. Be some blue colors, purple, maybe. Again, oh my goodness. I'll do that after. Jeez. Like I said in the last video, I never fail to ruin that inner casing. Just rip it out as I do it with like gorilla hands. Like, what the heck am I doing? Oh. Test. Let's see if we can get it on. Oh. Thank goodness. All right. Let's move on. All right. Again, I have the image in front of me of the con shell because I don't really know what they look like. And obviously, it's a shell. They kind of have different looks to them, right? So I found one I really like. So we're going to try that one out. I got some paper towels to wipe my dirty fingers on when they get all pastel crazy. And my eraser, my needed eraser. Last time I went too heavy on the white. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I can go lighter this time. This, this outer layer kind of has like ridges on it, very small ridges.
give it more shape. Really cool thing about the conch shells is, you know, if you go to the beach and you find a really cool one, you could put it right up to your ear, and hopefully a sea snail will crawl right into your ear. Oh wait, no, that's right. You'll hear the water. Don't think about the other thing. Don't. Yeah, that's okay. You'll hear the ocean. Also. I was actually reading up on conch shells. Uh, I guess like in the Bahamas and the Caribbean, those places like that, they eat the snail or mollusk, whatever you would call it. And obviously they use the um, shells for decorations and stuff. I mean, they're so beautiful. But uh, yeah, I guess there's like, I don't know if they're actually considered endangered. I'm sure they are. I think they're considered endangered over there. People fish for them, but they take them when they're too young. They haven't started reproducing yet. Um, so, really, 
if you go to a beach, I guess. I guess this happens too. People actually take the shells off the beach and it turns out there were snails in them. So if you go to like a tropical place like that and you see a beautiful shell, just be careful. Make sure you check first. I don't even know if they'll let you take it home technically. If they find it on you, uh, it might be one of those things. So yeah, just be careful. So far, I'm really liking these colors. Uh, we'll see what detail I can get. I'm not, again, I don't use chalk pencil that often, so I'm not the best with the detail, but we'll see what we can get. So we keep going. So, from what I've done so far with chalk pesto, it seems like the best thing to do is maybe get the base colors and then get into the details. So like I kind of like, I'm doing the details and then I'm going over it again to get the base color better. So I think a good strategy when doing chalk pesto, or maybe, I don't know about oil pesto, but chalk pesto is to get that base down and then go into getting the detail down. That seems like a better strategy. That, like a blur for now. I won't come back to it later. So that's, that's gonna be the toughest part of this drone. But I think I want to focus on the detail on here now.
I've never seen that before. It's like, I'm going so hard with this new layer. It's kind of scraping off the original layer. So, new learning curve there.
with like details like this the shading and uh the lighting for like to make this like more detailed this part of it so maybe i'll try it again one time but for now i'm pretty spent and uh it's time for bed let me clean this up Oh, okay, not bad for the first time trying that one out. Uh, yeah, well now that the table has chalk dust all over it, oh, my laptop and my hands, let's uh, get cleaned up, then I'll see you again. Alright everyone, I just finished cleaning up my mess, uh, I had a great time, uh, I realize now that I really didn't talk much 
That's just because I was in the zone when it comes to like focusing on the art, which actually is like really meditative for me. But that means I have to edit a lot. So I'm sorry if like there's a lot of splices you notice because I, I was really concentrating and I didn't. I was like learning as well as I went. Yeah, edits. Maybe uh, you'll know by the time I put the video up, but I'm going to try to overlay some music too for you guys, just to make it more relaxing and uh, entertaining. So yeah, that's all. I'm so glad I was able to do this for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, because I really enjoy drawing and making these videos for you guys. If you do enjoy, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.